What is up you guys? Me again. Um, so, is it possible for somebody who is a Christian, a true born-again Christian, saved by Jesus Christ, possessed with the Holy Spirit, um, is indwelled with the Holy Spirit, know for 100% that God is real because somebody who has the Holy Spirit cannot doubt God's existence. The Holy Spirit in us Christians, born-again Christians, that is a true Christian, guides us into all truth. He's the spirit of truth. Um, it's impossible to not know that God exists. Um, it's impossible to doubt God's existence when we have the Holy Spirit. Um, so can a true born-again Christian who is born again and has the Holy Spirit go back to being an atheist? An atheist, and an answer to that is absolutely not. Or agnostic, either. Um, those Atheism and agnosticism, those two beliefs right there, atheists don't believe 1% that God exists. They completely believe that we cease to exist after we die, that the universe created itself through the Big Bang in outer space long, trillions of years ago. They don't believe in God whatsoever, not even the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest bit. Um, so, of course, a person who is saved, that has the Holy Spirit, cannot become an atheist again. I'm pointing this out because I've heard people saying that a Christian goes back to being an atheist. How is that? Okay, well, there's only one uh, one um, way that can happen. And that is because a, the, the person who said that they were a, quote, Christian wasn't truly a Christian. Because a true Christian is somebody who has the Holy Spirit, who is indwelled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, Jesus, God, lives within their heart. Somebody who does not have God living in them through His Spirit is not a Christian. Jesus says, if you don't have the Spirit of Christ, you do not belong to Christ. You're not a true child of God if you don't have the Holy Spirit. So those Christians, quote unquote, are not were never Christians to begin with. They were never Christians at all to begin with. You're not a Christian because you go grocery shopping and help other people. You're not a Christian because you go to church every Sunday morning. You're not a Christian because you said the sinner's prayer. You're not a Christian um, because you believe in God. You're not a Christian because you're a good person. You're not a Christian because you follow the Ten Commandments. You're a Christian because you placed your faith in Lord Jesus Christ and believed what he did for you on the cross 2,000 years ago for your salvation. To save you from hell, uh, to save you from annihilation in the lake of fire. So a person who is not saved, does not have the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people, there are more people, you guys, in this world that believe and that say they are true Christians than they are, while not being true Christians, than there are people who truly are Christians. Um, so... Again, a person who is a Christian can never become an atheist or agnostic again because those two things... Uh, atheist means a person doesn't believe whatsoever in God. Uh, they believe basically that the existence of everything is from science. Um, agnostic means that you believe and you don't believe. You're 50-50. Um, like, I was agnostic before I got saved. I was like, God, if you're real, that's cool. I'll be in heaven with you. Um, not even knowing that I wasn't good whatsoever until after I believed in Jesus Christ, sacrificed and accepted him as my Lord and Savior, 
when I received the Holy Spirit, I had a two ton, a hundred ton weight lifted off my shoulder. That was the weight of sin. I felt so relieved. Like I felt all this glory, all this power flood into me. And it was like, I knew that I was saved from an eternity separated from God. The relief that I felt, you guys, is uncomprehensible. Uh, so no, a person who is uh, born again, possesses the Holy Spirit, can never be agnostic or atheist, again, because they know 100%, 100% that God is real.